I survived 100 days at Puppy Playtime in Minecraft. One night while I was adventuring through the forest, I found this cute little doll. Little did I know that this doll was about to teleport me into a world of horror. Now that I'm stuck inside this game of horror, I had two objectives. One, find my way out of here and stay away from Huggy Wuggy. And two, Find a way to stop Poppy and end this horror Ouch. show forever. Do I have what it takes to survive my most scariest challenge yet? Or will I be locked away in Poppy Playtime forever? Stay tuned to find out what happens next. Day one in Poppy's Playtime Nightmare. And myself and Sharky started off just like any normal day. Playing tag in the forest in the middle of the night. <laughs> Get back here, Sharky. I'm going to catch you. No, never going to throw uh, yeah. oh, You're a <laughs> cheater. Tag. No, fine. Five seconds. What? Five, what? four, two, two, one. No. I'm going. <laughs> but not long into our game of tag, we stumbled across this little doll all by herself in the middle of nowhere. How did this little doll get all the way out here? Uh, I don't know, this looks kind of creepy if you ask me. I think we should probably just bury it. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I think it's that doll from uh, Puppy's Playtime. Yeah, that's the one. <gasps> oh, I love that game. Although it is super creepy, so why anyone would leave it out here, I do not know. Oh, well, we have to try and return it to whoever who lost it. I mean, we should have a look around and see if we can find its owner. Yeah, not a bad idea. I don't want that creepy doll sitting around here all day. <laughs> it's not that creepy. Come on, she's kind of cute. After looking around to find its owner, Sharky decided to go and pick it up. And that's when the nightmare began. Without any warning, Huggy came out of nowhere and attacked us. Ah! Run, Sharky, run! I managed to get away, but I have no idea where Sharky or Huggy have disappeared to. Man, I hope Sharky is okay. I was nearly out of the forest before I came across the poppy doll all over again. Wait, did I just go around in a circle? If the puppy doll is here, where's Huggy? That's when I turned around and... Ah! On day two, I woke up in this random reception area. I didn't recognize this place at all, so I was pretty sure I had never been here before. I tried to open the doors and get out of here, but they were locked. I guess I'm trapped in here. The last thing I can remember is getting attacked by Huggy when I found the puppy doll. Wait, Sharky! Oh no! Where is he? I decided to take a look around and see if I could find a way out, or if I could find Sharky. The more I looked around, the more familiar this place began to look. Had I been here before? Was I dreaming? It wasn't until I turned this corner that it hit me. I was stuck in the Poppy Playtime game. Oh gosh, I need to get out of here, and quickly! I tried every door I found hoping it would lead me outside, but most of them were really just dead ends like this one. Some did open up into new areas inside the game, but I had to admit, I really did not want to go explore any more of this place. But I had no choice. I made my way down the hallway and around the corner at the end. But this next one? Oh gosh, the next one had the Polly doll sitting at the end. The last time I saw this doll, Huggy appeared and I was not about to wait around for that to happen again. So I bailed. I ran out of that hallway and just as I was passing the middle stage-like area, I saw it. Huggy! And it knows I'm here! Run! I ran as quickly as I could back down the hallway and into the reception area. That's when I spotted this security-looking room with heavy-duty doors and I went for it. Once I was inside, I pulled the lever and the door was closed behind me. I was safe for now, or at least I thought. I could hear something coming from behind those doors. Was it Polly? Did Huggy have some friends hidden away in here? I had to check it out. Hello? Is anyone in there? Oh, please don't kill <gasps> me. Not the... <laughs> Sharky, it's you. Oh, oh, Kelly, you're alive. Oh my goodness, it's so good to see. Wait, are you a monster? Did you do this? No, of course I didn't do this. Wait, yeah, come out of the closet. Come on. Oh. I can't believe this. Okay, the last thing I remembered was the Huggy monster coming after me in the forest. And then I ended up here in Poppy's playtime. Oh, I know. I woke up here too, but I didn't see you. I woke up in here. I just panicked. I opened that door. I found a box to hide behind and I hid. Oh, it's terrifying. I want to go home now, please. Well, I've been looking around and I can't find an exit. I don't know what we're going to do, but we need to figure out a plan because that monster is out there and I don't know how long that door is going to hold for. Well, okay, look. Uh, by the looks of it and by the sounds of it, he's still outside. I think we should just stay in here tonight because clearly we're safe and we can figure something out in the morning. 
Sounds good to me. I need to sleep after that. Over the next few days, we stayed inside the security room, even though Hookie just kept trying to get through the doors. We did manage to find some snacks and soda to live on, but only if we rationed it out each day. Unfortunately for me, Sharky had a sweet tooth and ate everything by day five. Great work, Sharky. Now we have to go outside and search for more. On day six, we left the security room, thanks to the hungry man here, in search of some more food and water. Sharky checked behind the reception area while I kept watch down the hallway. So far, all was clear, but Sharky didn't find anything, so we had to go further inside. We made our way into the main room very carefully and quietly and had a little look around. Sharky took the left side and I took the right side. Uh, nothing in here or in here or in here. Oh, I hope he's having better luck. Sharky! Hey, Sharky, have you found anything? Wait, where is he going? Oh, he's not asleep in one of these tents, is he? Let me see. Sharky! Wait, what? Where is he gone to? Oh, hang on a minute. Coolers! Oh my gosh, coolers! Oh, there could be food in here. Okay, let me grab this. Okay, Sharky, where are you? I think I found some food! Oh, he's nowhere to be seen. Okay, I think I'm just gonna head back to the security room because maybe he got spooked and end up back there. Or maybe he had candy hidden. Just as I was about to head back to the security room, Sharky came running down the hall screaming at me to run. I was in shock. I froze like one of those fainting goats and Hookie was coming right for me. Sharky hit me and brought me back to life. What was I doing? I needed to run. We took off back to reception and finally into the security room. Sharky locked the doors and I put down the cooler. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe how close that was. I can't believe I froze when I saw him. I just froze. It's okay. It's okay. That thing is terrifying, okay? Boy, you grabbed your cooler. Oh, yeah. Go, why don't you go take a seat, and I'll tell you exactly okay, what you've okay, gone and okay. found. Oh, <laughs> what's for dinner? Yeah. Nothing. It's empty. Oh, oh goodness no. sake. Oh, well, you shouldn't have eaten all the candy earlier. I was hungry, okay? I'm a big shark. I've got flubber and blubber and stuff that I have to protect and work hard on it. Oh. Well, look, I guess we're just going to have to go hungry tonight and then we'll figure out what we'll do about food tomorrow. Honestly, I just want to get out of this place. Over the next few days, we had no choice but to continue our search for food. We found new rooms hidden around this nightmare game, including some huge safe doors that just won't open. We also found some scary looking hallways that we did not want to go down at all. Nope, no thank you. But eventually we did find this kitchen. And thank goodness for that because if I had to go another day without food, I think I would even consider eating Sharky. He does look so tasty. No, little Kelly, you can't eat Sharky. We searched around and eventually Sharky found the goods. <laughs> Jackpot! We started to tuck in almost immediately. Oh, yes. I had no idea if it was the hunger, but this is just the best tasting food ever. <laughs> we were just leaving when Sharky started to freak out. Ah, what's run, 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 it's Huggy, what? it's Huggy, oh, run, no, no. Hide, 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 hide. Hide oh, where? Goodness. Oh, gosh. Oh, and behind the... oh, in here, get in here. Oh, wait, move, move, oh, move, oh, move, is there space move. for me? Oh, my gosh. No, oh, it's so oh, cold. Oh, it's just so cold in here. Oh, I think I just saw him. Oh, I think I saw him too. Oh, no. What are we going to do? He has us trapped in here. I'm too pretty to die. What was it? He's in there. Shh. Okay, we got to be quiet. We got to be quiet. Oh, goodness. I think he might come in here. Every does we're both goners. Okay, well, we need a plan then. I don't want to die and you don't want to die. So are we going to get out of here? Oh. Hail Mary, you remember when we were kids and mom used to give out and we both run in separate directions? She can't yeah. catch us both. If he goes to come in here, we go out and we just run and scream. Okay, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think he's looking directly at us. I think he knows oh. we're in here. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Go! Go, 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 go. Run. Run, run for go, your go, life, go, go. Sharky. Every shark for themselves. <laughs> Sharky managed to get back inside the security room, but Hookie was right on his tail. Oh, no. I was trapped outside. Where could I hide? Come on, think. Look, the door, it was open. I ran in and took a look around. Oh, come on, little Kelly, think. The crates, I can climb inside one of them. I got up on top of the crates and I jumped down inside one. It wasn't long before Huggy Wuggy came in looking for his next snack. Me, oh gosh. I stayed cool and eventually he left. I was in the clear for now, but I was not moving a muscle until I knew the coast was clear. After our close call on day 12, we kept it pretty low-key on day 13. 
At this stage, we had no idea what time it was or how long we've been stuck inside this stupid game. I was going to bed on night 14 when Sharky made a great observation. Huh. Uh, little Kelly, are you asleep yet? No. What's going on, Sharky? Do you know what I'm just thinking? These cameras. I'm pretty sure I've seen a few of them around and they have to be connected to something. I wonder if there's like a full CCTV program where we could like watch everything going on outside these doors. Ooh, that would make it so much handier for getting around and looking for an exit. We'd know where Hooky Wookie was at all times. Ooh, okay, let me just see. Um, any power to these? No, nothing here. Oh, we got a red light. We got a red light. There's power over here. Oh, okay. Have a look. Power it on. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, I'm turning that off. What oh, was wow. that? No, no, that's not good. No. Okay, okay. Um, all right. Oh, that's... We need to do something. We can't sit here and watch that. Um, Look. I think what we do is we search for a monitor. There has to be a monitor hooked up to every camera in this place. And if we get that, we'll be in the clear. Luckily, by day 17, we had found the monitor the cameras were hooked up to. But unfortunately, the connections had all failed, meaning we had to connect them all again. We took our time over the next few days to connect each camera to the monitor. All while making sure we didn't get caught by this thing. Huggy Wuggy! I have never hated something with such a cute name before. <laughs> By day 20, we had the cameras all hooked up and now we could watch this thing roam around the hallways looking for us. Day 21, we just chilled in our security room watching our new fave TV show. What is Huggy Wuggy up to? <laughs> I think it's kind of catchy. He did keep on going in and out of this hallway though. I wonder if that's where he lived, huh? On days 22 to 30, we continued to try and find a way out of here. We literally tried every door we could find in the place, but every single one of them was blocked from the outside. There has to be a way out of here. Maybe we're thinking too small. Maybe the way out was much bigger. Or maybe the way out was through one of the doors we still haven't looked behind. Oh man, I'm beginning to think myself and Sharky might be stuck in here forever. Until day 30, when I remembered the hallway we kept spotting Huggy going into. We went all the way to the end. I gave Sharky some extra encouragement, of course, to help him around the corner, but nothing. Wait, this was the location I first spotted Poppy when I first got here. Maybe she's the key. Sharky, I think I know what we have to do. On day 31, while Sharky was snooping around the lockers in the security room, he found these! A pair of walkie-talkies! Now we could split up and still be in contact. I think I have a plan. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, this is suicide! Of course I need to do this. We need to get out of here, Sharky! Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stay on the camera monitors and look for Huggy Wuggy. If you see him, jump on the walkie and let me know, okay? Okay, no problem. Um, Oscar, Oscar, Chainer, Bravo, Oscar, can you hear me over? Okay, let's try not to use coded talk because that's how accidents happen, okay? Right, You're gonna okay, speak true. plain, normal English. Okay, good luck out there. I okay. hope you don't get eaten, and okay. if you do, I'll record it. Keep this door shut at all costs. Bye. Oh, well, okay, oh, that was quick. Okay, test, test, can you hear me, Sharky? I can hear you. Huggy's behind you, over. What? What? No! Sharky, you can't play around like that. All right, I'm going to go and check out other areas. Stay on the cameras. Sharky, I am entering the main area. Have you got eyes on Huggy Wuggy? I repeat, I... have you got eyes on Huggy Wuggy? You're meant to say over. Over. Oh, have you got eyes on him? Over. I, in fact, I do. He's on his way into the main hallway. Hide. 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 Oh, hide. Oh, oh, over. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I'm hidden. Over. Okay, I think he should be in there now. You should be able to see him. I can see his head. Okay, I'm hoping he doesn't see my head. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Oh my god, he's lost his mind. He looks like he's doing some sort of crazy ritual. Oh gosh, uh, Shaggy, I'm terrified. If he spots me behind this door, I'm done for. Okay, it looks like he's moving down the main hall. He's at the lockers. Okay, he's outside my door. Over. Okay, okay, that means the coast is clear. Okay, do not open the door. I repeat, do not open the door. Open the door? Over? No! Do not! Over! Oh, okay. Door remaining closed. Over. Okay, I'm having a look around over here. Oh gosh, this is not good. Oh, uh, oh no! Look, Kelly! He's... Sharky! Sharky! Oh gosh, I think... I think his walkie died! Oh no! What if... What if Hokey Wokey got in? What if he opened the door like a... Uh-oh! No! He's there! Ah! This is not good! Oh my gosh! I need to get out of there! <laughs> oh, this door is locked! So is this one! Oh my gosh! Oh no! I think I'm a goner! Oh no! This is it! I am going! This is how I go! Oh Sharky, forgive me! Forgive me! Stay back, you 
boss. Yeah, get in! Ah! Get in! Get in! Ah! Hurry! Hurry! Ah! Close the door! Close the door! Oh! Oh! That was so close! Oh my goodness! He nearly ate your brains for a mush! Next time, check the wonky batteries! Oh my gosh! I can't believe we lost contact! I thought you were a gunner! I thought he ate uh, you! I... I... I dropped my walkie, okay? It broke. I'm so sorry. I panicked. I saw him coming in, and then I, and then I, oh, you know what? I nearly died. But while I was looking, I found some blueprints, and and I found this secret hallway, and also, I think I know how to get out of here, little Kelly. Blueprints? Oh my gosh! We'll definitely be able to find the exit. Oh, great job, Sharky. We spent the next eight days gathering whatever we could find in order to create a distraction for Hooky to concentrate on while we escaped. We tried filling the main hall with animals to keep him entertained, but, uh, yeah, he just ate them all in one go! Wow, that was gross. We even tried setting Sharky up as bait so he could distract Huggy Wuggy, but he was always one step ahead. Run! Since we couldn't find anything that could distract him, what about something that might slow him down? Like a big waterfall! <laughs> Since he loved to live in this hall, we decided to fill it with water and flush him down the drain like a big poop. Only problem, he was a great swimmer! Ah! By day 40, we were flat out of ideas. We had to get out, but I had still no idea how. I'm telling you, Sharky, I've looked at the blueprints and this is definitely the best way out. Yeah, I have to agree. Nothing past these, so this has to be the exit. What could get these things open, though? I don't know the safe code. Uh... Well, maybe some TNT. Look, I'm <gasps> sure we can get some ingredients around the place and make it up. We can make the TNT, blow up these doors, and make our way to freedom. I like it. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's get back before Hoggy Woogie starts looking for us again. Oh, good idea. It took us about two or three days of searching to find all the parts we needed to make a block of TNT. And of course, something to light it with. But by the end of day 43, we had it. This is how we were going to escape. Sharky placed down the TNT and I took a couple of steps back. But just before Sharky could light the TNT, Hooky came rushing in and attacked us. We ducked and dipped and tried to dodge Hooky while lighting the TNT, but Sharky just couldn't do it. And before we knew what was going on, Hooky took our TNT. Run, Sharky, run! That night, as we hid away inside the back of the security room, we felt defeated. Yes, we're still alive, but our only way out of here was now in the hands of that thing outside trying to kill us! Oh man. On day 44, Sharky had officially started to lose his mind. He was knocking on the security room walls hoping for someone to knock back, I guess. Sharky, you are seriously losing your mind. What are you hitting the wall for? No, look, I'm not just hitting the wall, I'm trying to find the weak spot now. Step back! Weak spot for what, Sharky? That doesn't lead anywhere! It does! I've been studying these blueprints since we've been locked up inside, and I have found another secret room, just like that hallway I saved you in, but apparently it's massive and it's on the other side of these doors where we need to get out. Huh, weird. Wait, Sharky, oh. hang on a minute. I can see through these doors now for the first what? time. <gasps> Wait, Look. and there's a light on the keypad. <gasps> Sharky, if we can find the code, we'll be able to make our way out of here. Yes, this is genius. Get the code, get out of here, and we're alive. But I don't want to be out here any longer. Let's go back into our security room. Good idea. Come on. We started to look for any clues as to what the code could be. We even counted the amount of lockers in hallways. We counted the amount of letters in playtime. We even tried to count the amount of times Huggy Wuggy nearly caught us. Let me just say, that number was too high. But as you guys can imagine, none of those combinations worked. We were beginning to lose hope on day 48 when Sharky started to move the crates in the main hallway and I revealed the number one. Great work, Sharky! But now we had to get to work. While Sharky was moving even more crates, I found my lucky number eight hiding behind these cabinets. Man, these things are so tricky to find. <laughs> I love it. Not long after, we found the number five and that meant all we were missing was one final number. But where could it be? And of course, our last number was hiding in plain sight. Duh! How have I not noticed this the entire time? All right, try 8351. 8351. Nope, nothing. Still mm. nothing. Okay, okay. The last one it could possibly be is 1538. If we're right, we, we're out of here. Oh my gosh. What is Wait. it? 1 1 what? 1538. Quick, Sharky! Hurry! 1589? 1538. He's here, Sharky! He's right behind us! Go, go, go! Get go! Up. Oh my gosh! 
Oh, wow, he was right on our tail. Oh, my goodness, he was right at that door. That was terrifying. <gasps> Way too terrifying and too close for my liking. <gasps> but we're out. We're free. <laughs> we're oh. out of here. We're out of here. Na, 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 na. Huggy, wuggy, you, Liz. Wait, little Kelly, look at this face. This doesn't look like we're out. What this looks that? like some kind of maze. No, no, I'm saying it ain't so. We spent the next 14 or 15 days wandering around this maze, wondering if there even was a way out of here or whether this was Huggy Wuggy's plan all along. It wasn't until day 65 that we realized we were not alone in here. Did you just see what I saw? Oh my gosh, no. there was something there. Tricky, there was something there. Oh, little Kelly, you're just seeing things. It's been a stressful few days, okay? We've been locked up here for nearly 65 days. It's just going to your head. Everything is fine. Look, I promise. What? Okay. No, be careful. Be careful. Oh, See? Okay. Nothing. Nothing is here apart from it. Ooh, <gasps> creepy oh, skeleton okay. place. I'm definitely not going down that way. Absolutely not. Oh, my goodness. Ah! 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 Oh, my gosh. I told you I saw something. Run, ah! run, run, Kelly, run. Ah! Oh, my ankle. Oh. Oh. I had no idea where Sharky was or where I was going. I was completely lost and all alone. On day 66, myself and Sharky found each other again, and right in the nick of time. Ah, it's Kissy Wissy again. Sharky, help me. Sharky started to scream at me to come to him. He found a way out. I had no choice but to take on the lava parkour. I know you guys must be thinking this is the easiest parkour ever, but I am terrible at it. Eventually, I made it across, but Kissy was hot on our tails. We ran as fast as we could, but I could feel Kissy right behind us. Whatever that thing was, it was fast. We rounded the final corner, and there it was. The puppy doll. Oh no, this is not good. This could be another false exit. This could be exactly what they wanted from us. We didn't know what to do until I checked the maze behind us and saw both Kissy and Huggy coming right for us. This can't be it. Sharky, let's get out of here. Run! We did it! We've made it out of Poppy's playtime and we've somehow ended back up in the forest that this all started in. We didn't have time to mess around. Those two things were still coming after us and now we've led them all the way back to our home. We ran for days, literally days, trying to get some distance between us and those dolls. But they never gave up and I was starting to think that they never would. We eventually hit the river bend, not too far from our homes. What do we do now? By day 91, we had made it back to my house. We decided to stick together and come to mine because of the 360 degree view we had of the land around us. At least these things won't be able to sneak up on us. We grabbed the fuel drums and whatever else we could to block the doors so they couldn't get in. Then over the next few days, myself and Sharky took turns to keep watch. It's my shift now, Sharky. You can go and get some rest. I didn't know what happened, but I must have fell asleep during my watch because I woke up to Sharky panicking. You wake the Ravens, you were sleeping on your watch. We're completely what? surrounded. Oh, no. oh, surrounded by who? What that made by who? By the same two crazy lunatics trying to rip our skin from our bones. Oh, Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Wissy. Wait, is that Puppy there too? No, we don't have time for Puppy. Lava traps. Lava traps? Wait, Sharky, you can't use lava traps around here. This house is made of wood. It doesn't matter. They have to die, what? little Kelly. No, no. This whole house is going to go up. Wait, <laughs> the doll. It has to be something to do with the doll. We need to destroy Poppy. If we destroy Poppy, we'll get rid of Kissy Wissy and Huggy Wuggy. We had no choice. We had to get off this burning balcony and make a run for the doll. We jumped down, and while Sharky distracted those two crazy things, I ran for the doll. I managed to get to it, but Huggy knew exactly what I was up to, and he made a run for me. I grabbed the doll and I ran for my life. I knew the village next to us had a lava pool and that's where this doll was going. I could see the lava. I was so close. This is all about to end. I made it to the edge and I threw the puppy doll and watched it burn. I turned around and to my shock, Huggy was still coming right for me. It didn't work. I was gonna die. Ah! Well, wait. <laughs> Huggy, it's gone. We did it. <laughs> the nightmare playtime is over. We did it. We managed to stop puppy playtime and end the nightmare. My poor house has seen better days. Thanks for that, Sharky. <laughs> but it's day 100 and we made it. <laughs>